shit two times, two times, two times. Let me see you do shit two times. If that's your bitch, I've been fucked the bitch. I think about two times. If I catch me, Hey man, what's going on with y'all? It's your boy Marzify back. And today I have an amazing story time for you guys. And if you guys do enjoy this story time, go ahead and drop a comment below on what you want to see next. I love taking you guys' suggestions and implementing it in my videos. So go ahead and drop a comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit that like button if you do enjoy it. You know, show me some love, man. Also, hit that subscribe button right hit that subscribe button while you're at it so we can grow this channel and you feel me get me to 100 not me but get us to 100 subscribers so yeah let's get right into the story time so today this story time is about the time i caught myself a pair of fake jordans yes your boy marzify was acting like a broke boy and didn't really know what he was copying out there because i was 10 or 9 years old so yeah let's get right into it so this story time takes place long long time ago when I was 10, 11, 8 years old, somewhere around there, somewhere around pre-teen age, you feel me? So it was a Friday, you feel me? Everybody loves Fridays. I know if you don't love Friday, you're not human, man. If you if you like Monday, I can't fuck with you, not at all. But it was a Friday. I was finna go get my hair cut, but I look fresh, you feel me? Even though I didn't have a girl at that time, and even though I do now, I mean Back then, I always want to look fresh, you feel me, have the nicest clothes and shit, but you know, some people have stuff, some people don't. So, it was Friday, I was about to get my hair cut, so after school, I went straight to the barbershop, my dad picked me up from school, I went straight to the barbershop, ready, I was hyped, I was, ooh, I was feeling, I was feeling fresh, I was feeling like Trill Sammy up in that bit, D, you know, but I arrived at the barbershop, and my mom was in the car too, it was my mom, my brother and actually my two brothers at the time and so we were in the car feel me bumping that holy music that amen holla you your type of music so we were out at the barber shop i went me and my dad my brother went to the barber shop because my brother needed a cut too because he didn't like keep his hair straight and my mama went into the salon to get her nails done look fresh for papa you feel me? Gotta look fresh. For, you gotta look fresh for the people that you love, man. You, you got. You guys will get it later once you're in high school. Or if you're in high school, you got know what I'm talking about. But yeah, so I went to the barber shop, got my usual cut. You know, my barber knows what I usually get. If you're if you're watching this, but I doubt you're watching this. So I got my usual cut. You know, low top. Feel me? Uh, what's it called? Hairline, recheck, all that stuff. The usual cut. You you, got, you guys know like the eighth grade cut. The what's it called? not the you guys know what i'm talking about man sorry for all the stutter and stuff but so after my haircut was done i went over to the salon because my dad had told me to go check up on my mom so as i went to the salon i peeped over around the corner and i saw this bald-headed nigga selling some fresh ass jays man i'm talking about fresh ass jays i'm talking about bread 11 i'm talking about legend i mean jordan 11 i'm talking about uh fire at fours uh og laser fours all those retro jordans were in my sight and i wanted to cop badly so i walked up to young man asked him how much he was selling them for he said 60 dollars dude y'all know if you get jordans for 60 dollars might as well Give him back, you just took it out, man. I didn't know I was about to take it out that time until I realized later on, but I told him, I asked him how much, he said 60. I was like, bet. Went to my mama, asked her for 60. She asked, what you need it for, Nathan? I said, mom, I found I found this guy around the corner, man. Uh, not man, I found this guy around the corner. He was selling some nice Jordans, mom. He was like, she was like, how much? I said, 60. He was like, are you sure there was, she even questioned me. Cause she know, she she may not know about Jordans and all that stuff, but she know when, she, when, when the price is fake. Cause she know Jordans are usually 200, 300, $100. You, you guys know how much, how average Jordans can be. So I convinced her, you know, my sly self, I convinced her to give me, to let me cost $60. So I went to young man, I was, I was checking out the shoes, all he had, you know, even though they were fake and I didn't know at the time, but I was just, you know, young, young Marzify checking out what he might cop, what he might have to rock when he goes to school on Monday. So 
uh, saw me, I don't know what I specifically picked out, but I do know that it was either Red 11 or the Legend Blue Jordan 11. Quick disclaimer, I love Jordan 11s, man. Any Jordan, I'm a cop, every Jordan 11, I don't care how much it is, I don't care who's reselling me, bruh. I'm copping every Jordan 11, man. Y'all be on the look. Y'all, y'all be on the lookout, bro. I'm on the come up, dude. Shoe collection coming soon. Be ready, bro. So I was checking. I was peeping all the shoes. You know, I saw. I mean, two shoes caught my eye, man. Two shoes caught my eye. I already, like I said before, Bread Levens and Legend. Bread Levens and the Legend. Legend Blue 11s or Columbia 11s. I call them Legend Blue. Whatever the fuck I'm gonna call them. So. I gave y'all, I, I told y'all, man, it, actually the store wasn't even like a shoe selling store. It was, a, I mean, the place I get my haircut at is sort of like iffy. It's like a community so everybody knows each other. So it went grocery store, barbershop, salon, hibachi wings, and then the Boost, it was a Boost Mobile store, but he was selling clothes and shoes on the inside and outside. Does that make any fucking sense, y'all? Exactly. So I didn't even know that that was mad sketchy. So... I gave young man the money, told him I want them shoes right there, Bread 11s, put a picture right there, boom. Those are the shoes I want to cop. He went in the back, go cop the shoes. I was waiting there, you know, feeling hype, man. I was gonna cop me my first pair of Jordans, y'all. Y'all don't know how how exciting that is to cop your first pair of Jordans. I mean, some of y'all out there, some of y'all black, like, some of y'all people that are of my ethnicity know what it's like to cop your first pair of Jordans. Y'all feel hype as fuck, dude. I was feeling like Superman. Like, like I need to save a nigga with these Jordans. But, so, he went in the back. He caught me the Jordans. I opened up the box. It didn't even come in the right box. It was a Nike box. What? He brought out Jordans from the back in a Nike box? What were you thinking, Nathaniel? What were you thinking, man? I didn't know what I was thinking. Jordan do should not. I, I'm not. I'm not really a Jordan expert, but I know this should not at all come in a Nike box. That is fake at its finest. So I opened up the box. You know, feeling like feeling like Jesus up in there. Open up the box. Saw the holy shoes, man. Them jumps were sparkly clean, but they were fake as fuck. So open them, checked them out a little bit, peeped it, you know, peeped the logo, peeped the little stitch, and that says Jumpman, the little stitching on it, the the carbon fiber on the side, the icy soap bottom, you know, I was I was making sure they were legit, but I didn't know they were legit because young boy tried to fool me. So I was still a little bit unsure. My curiosity took the best of me, so I went back into the barber shop as my brother was still getting his haircut, and my dad was still waiting for him to finish up. I went to my barber. And I asked him, I was like, dude, I just caught some Jordans from the guy around the block. And he says they're real. He said, he he even told me he got them shipped directly. He had the plug from China. I, I thought China was legit, bro. But China, China trying to get us, man. Y'all got to watch out for them fake, for them fake, them fake products, dude. Fake phones, fake anything. You know China trying to scam us, bro. So I asked my barber, uh... Are these shoes fake? He said, he straight up told me, son, he played you. He jugged you for your money. I felt like I got stabbed right in my heart, man. That hurt. So I exited the barber shop, marched my ass straight to that nigga, said, give me my money back, bitch. Straight give me a refund, gave him back his bummy ass shoes, caught my money back, gave it back to my mama, because I didn't feel like my mama see her son dressed up in some fake Jordans. That's a no-no. She would hate that. So, got a refund, got my money back, walked out of that bit with no shoes, sadly. No real shoes, but could I walked out with some shoes in general. But I'd rather walk out with no shoes instead of fake shoes. That's just me. I like real than fake. Some of y'all may rock fake, man. I respect it. Not, of us, not all of us can have it. Like, what some of us have and what some of us don't have just be just just be grateful for what you have man so that's gonna wrap up the story time for you guys i hope you guys did enjoy story time if you did drop a like comment subscribe below man hope you guys are having an amazing day um i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one peace